everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. You know I love to collect pianos. I like to collect pianos in different kinds of shapes, sizes, colors. If it has keys, I love to collect it. I like to make a review on it. This one right over here is definitely a keeper. This is a very rare three foot five little grand piano. I don't even know what the company is. I think it's Challen. And also, um, I tell you this, it has um, at least 73 keys on it. So it's not a full 88. But this is so cool. Um, this is not the first little piano that we have. Uh, right over there, you can't hardly see it, but that one over there actually has 64 keys. And also the one over here with the TV, uh, that has the same amount of keys as this grand piano. And plus it has a piano quarter system player on it. And but this is the smallest real grand piano with strings that ever came into this house. And it's such a keeper. And I thought I'd use it for a couple gigs if I could, which is really good. But um, let me open it up for you. Now, since it's small, it doesn't have a lid log, but it does have a lid prop. And this goes up just like that. Um, before the video, I did tune it. It was seriously, seriously out of tune. So, um, let's check the tuning on it, which is really good. tuned it once I tuned the base station uh, the, the base section sorry not station the base section I tuned that at least three times because it it, it didn't sound right it has uh, the strings are a lot smaller and you can hear it from the base section I think it starts from right here right here strings except for that section right here where it says where it's very thunky but I can loosen those and there's a technique that I can actually um, loosen the strings actually what you do is you take the hammer and then you loosen it really really loose and, and it still has a little bit of um, strength to it and then all you do is just keep on doing that but very very hard and it brings the strings back to life. I did that to a, many pianos, to a number of pianos. It takes a long time, but after that, you don't have to replace strings. So, uh, <laughs> I glued this key down. So I have to be careful with that one B flat right over here. But um, I did a video on this um, piano when it was at the store, and there was a lot of bloopers that actually happened. So I kind of fixed that. And so I want to try this out, which is going to be... <laughs> Sixty-four notes or something like that. I don't know for sure, but this has seventy-three notes, so it's it's really good. I'm used to a seventy-six key keyboard, uh, so this would be fine. Uh, it doesn't weigh that much like a regular piano. Um, it holds its its value as in tone. It's a very loud piano, 
Um, so what I was thinking about doing with it is I was thinking about basically um, changing the color to black. Uh, if you don't think I should change the color to black, I should just touch up the color uh, right in your comments and everything like that. But I was thinking about changing the color to black. Uh, these are real ivory keys. Real. Some of them are chipped, but these are real ivory, real ebony, and they feel great. So I don't know about changing the action. I mean, if it's going to be nice and rustic like this, I mean, the reason that I'll use this piano and... I use those other little pianos right here. I use them for supermarkets. So I'm sitting in front of the supermarket or I'm in the supermarket and I'm actually playing the piano. And I actually had video of that, but I, that time I used the keyboard or um, this piano right over here with the player system on it. But wow, wow. <laughs> See if you have a if you have a piano that has very limited keys, you have to know when you're going to come back down and when you're going to come back up. So in the bass register, you have to come back up in your mind, and in the high register, you have to come back down in your mind. But it sounds great. Uh, here. with it I need to regulate the action it's a little stiff it's a little stiff so I need to lubricate the action regulate it I need to make sure that uh, there's no dust particles well there's gonna be dust because it's an older piano but um, I gotta see um, I gotta take out the action and spend some time with it just like all my pianos that I have <laughs> but yeah these um, in this room as I said this is the little piano room so there's three pianos in here there's this one there's a little 64 note and there's another 73 note player. That piano sounds really good. I use that for a lot of games. But, um, it has, I mean, for a little grand piano, let me see what happens when I put this down. It actually comes up and it just goes right back down. And, uh, That's 
probably just a felt piece that is that is gone. As I said, when we when we get pianos, we have pianos that are keepers, and we have pianos that were like, mm, we really don't need it. And we get some eclectic pianos too. Like outside, we have a green one, uh, which is a J.C. Fisher, and I don't know about that piano yet until I really, really sit down and do it. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna make a video about that. Um, and we got a couple Mason and Hamlins um, that's in the carport, uh, which I'm fixing, and it's it's gonna be really cool. But this piano right here. Oh my gosh. Let's see.
really, really like this piano. I like any piano, you know. I'm a kind of person, since I play like ragtime, honky-tonk, um, blues kind of thing, I love uh, different pianos. It could be out of tune and I can make it sound good. <laughs> a lot of people say, oh, I'm not touching that piano. And I'm like, why? It's a piano. You, that's the only piano you have, you know. Uh, but I, I, I love I love different pianos. That Let's see how it sounds with the ballad.
everybody, thank you so much for watching this. Um, I want your reviews on basic. I want your comments of what you think about this piano. I I love it. My my personal opinion about this piano, um, it surprised me. It surprised me. I I actually really really love it. For gigging, it's perfect. It is it is so perfect for just gigging. If you want a real grand piano, I gig out with a lot of pianos, so you know. I always say a lot of things are perfect, but you know, this one, it could be a little bit better. It could be a little bit better. It needs a little bit more tweaking. And I tell you this, it's, it's such a good piano. Uh, but I would like to, I would like to hear your comments on it. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Everybody click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. Go to YouTube, go to Facebook. I'm on Facebook. I have my Facebook fan page, Chris Nicholson fan page. I also have Twitter and I also have Instagram. So thank you so much. Click like, subscribe follow. I love you guys. Please keep safe. Get vaccinated, which I did. And I didn't think I was going to play this piano because I was so a mess after the second shot. But <laughs> thank you so much, everybody.